Dear Wynn, Your nice breezy letter arrived a few days ago, along with one from Lydley. The photo of you is a very good one, although it does not do you justice. No photograph ever could. The last few days have been tough on us, and the war is taking a toll on everyone. We are often left speechless at the end of the day, waiting for our daily rum. Our artillery is wonderful, and they silence the Germans every time. They send trench mortar bombs over. Oh, how I hate those blessed trench mortars. Though they are not as dangerous as shrapnel, they make five times the noise. The artillery has been giving the fellows in front of us a merry hail Columbia, ripping their trenches to pieces and scattering dead, gray clad bodies over the parapets. Derek Brogle and I took a long walk today. This was before we had to go back to our battalions for our next shift. This was the last time I will ever see him as he was killed in combat later that day. I often think about back home and miss you in the grove. I dreamed last night I was back home again and woke to the banging of the artillery this morning. I saw all the boys again, and among them was little Sidney Craven. I walked out toward the point, and with the boys and Barney, was with me. And then I woke up. I don't see why you should feel flattered because I included you in that message. There are many things I should like to say in letters to you, but although thousands of miles away, I dasn't. Your sincere friend, Gordon Graham.